Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Sunday. So I wasn't even sure if I wanted to even talk about this again because as most of you guys know, I'm so over this whole Colin Kaepernick situation. But this morning on Instagram, I posted Stephen A. Smith's rant where he went off about the Colin Kaepernick situation. I've been keeping up with it all week like I do because you know what I'm saying. We do sports here. And um, I, I had a feeling it was like I had a feeling something would go amiss. OK, I just don't trust Kaepernick anymore. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the rant that Stephen A. Smith did today on Instagram. You guys go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So let me get this straight. Colin Kaepernick has been working out all of this time. Him, people in his camp, his close ones, loved ones, everybody talking about he wants to play football. He wants to play football. He's ready to play. Just give him the chance. So what does the NFL do? recognizing that teams need a shield because they need something to hide behind because they know that, guess what? If we bring this brother in for a workout and we don't like him or we don't want him, who knows what we're going to get accused of? We need cover. So the NFL provides that. I have no doubt Jay-Z is involved. I have no doubt Roger Goodell is involved. I have no doubt there's a host of people involved, but forget all of that. This man wanted a chance. 25 teams show up in Georgia at the Atlanta Falcons practice facility. State of our facility, NFL personnel, equipment, everything, video, everything. And what does Colin Kaepernick do? Not Tuesday when he found out about it. Not Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, Saturday. Three hours. Before the workout, because of some issue with a liability waiver, Colin Kaepernick wants to change the venue. Colin Kaepernick wants his own receivers. Colin Kaepernick wants to video things himself. Colin Kaepernick wants the media. This Colin Kaepernick, the media can't find him. He ain't done no interviews. He ain't talked to nobody. Media can't find him, but he wants to do it. He wants the media available now. see you see he don't want to play he wants to be a martyr but guess what it ain't working this time all of us believe that Colin Kaepernick would have showed out and if he had showed out I'm here to tell you I believe he would have had a job inside of two weeks but it didn't happen because he didn't show. He wanted to show up to a high school in Georgia. Not an NFL facility, a high school. And then YouTube it live. Like the average Joe out there gets to decide if he's on the NFL roster. You don't want to work. You just want to make noise. And you want to control the narrative. It's over. Colin Kaepernick's aspiration in the NFL for an NFL career. So far. All right, so you guys just heard what Stephen A. Smith had to say. So this entire situation is crazy. I feel at this point in time, fame is definitely a hell of a drug. And Colin Kaepernick is overdosing on this whole thing that you call fame and attention and everything else, okay? First and foremost, he showed up to this supposed workout with a shirt that says Kunta Kente, basically trying to compare himself to a slave. Um, I don't know if it's just me, honey, but I've never seen a slave get a million dollar contract or any type of contract for that matter. So him comparing himself to Kunta Kente, that is apples to oranges, sir, and you really tried it, okay? The problem I have with Colin is this. First of all, the NFL went out their way to put together this whole practice facility situation. This is not normal standard, okay? This is not what they do when they're having potential um, workouts for walk-ons. This is not what they do. So they went above and beyond for Colin Kaepernick. They flew in upwards of 28 teams, I believe, to come and basically watch him give his all. And so 
The thing that's troubling is Colin didn't give them a week's notice, a few days notice. Literally two to three hours before he was scheduled to go to the practice um, at the Atlanta Falcons Stadium, he decided to switch it up and go do it at a high school. And so out of those 28 teams that came to see him, you know, work out and do all that stuff, only eight of them followed. The rest were like, you know what, we just don't have time for these antics. And they chose to go on about their business, okay? Now, I see a lot of people making excuses and, you know, oh, he's showing them. He had the right to, you know, make, you know, to spin his own narrative and want his own cameras there. It's not about him wanting his cameras there. You know, if the NFL was mad about that, that's hypocritical because, again, they have no problem having their own cameras there, filming stuff, and then selling it to the networks. So if that's the case, that is hypocritical. A lot of people are bringing up this whole contract thing that, oh, they want him to sign a waiver that he couldn't sue the NFL if something happens, if he didn't get picked. Oh, the NFL, you know, they were shady for trying to give him a waiver. Now, I don't know 100% what was all in that waiver. If that was the main thing from stopping Colin from wanting to sign the waiver is the fact that the NFL is saying that, you know, if you come and you practice with us and you don't get picked, you can't then sue us. There's nothing wrong with that. They obviously know that Colin has no problem suing them because he sued them before. He sued them, got millions of dollars, and signed to NDA. And basically, he took the money and he settled. So, you know, I just feel like he's doing a lot of this stuff for attention. And I've been calling it out for months now. And it's funny how now the mainstream media feels comfortable enough now after this final stunt to finally call him out. But like I said, I was calling him out during the whole Jay-Z fiasco. And mark my words, I can bet you any money that Jay-Z was behind doing all this for Colin Kaepernick. Because again, he was really upset with people calling him a coon and a sellout when he signed on to do the whole Rock Nation deal with the NFL and was looking out buddy buddy with Roger Goodell. So I believe that he put a word in and he basically did all of this for Colin Kaepernick to come and try out only to basically be shitted on. Okay, so I'm sure Jay Z's somewhere kind of feeling some type of way as well. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these flashback videos of me talking about my feelings towards Mr. Kaepernick and why they had changed. So y'all go ahead and check this out. They took sums of money, signed NDAs to basically walk away from the situation. So Colin, so Colin Kaepernick wasn't really trying to basically peel back the layers and the onions of the situation. Once they offered him a deal that he couldn't refuse, he too walked away and was also even begging for his job back at one point, saying that, you know, he just wants to play football again. But this is the same racist organization. So like I said, I just saw a lot of hypocrisy as time went on with the entire situation, you know, where Maybe he felt like he got in a bit too deep over his head and maybe he had some regrets about, you know, everything he went through and he still wanted to play for the NFL. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, Callan Kaepernick took money from the same NFL uh, organization without going to trial, without exposing them, without trying to help other black folks that might be facing real racism in the NFL as well. He saw his chance to get a quick buck and, you know, he did that. So to me, at the end of the day, him and Jay-Z, they both represent the same sports and entertainment entity and they're about their money, they're about their coins. It's so, you know, the whole thing to me is just really, it's really unsettling. It's kind of crazy. And, you know, I did talk about Colin the other day because I feel like, you know, even though he was blackballed, he went through a lot. I, you know, he's not also innocent in this either because, again, he settled with the NFL. And y'all can say, well, he needed the money. What else was he supposed to do? I mean, at the end of the day, he took a check. He signed a non-disclosure. Okay. So basically, he made that struggle over himself. You get what I'm saying? So when he folded, that gave Jay-Z ample opportunity to be like, well, you're not fighting anymore. You're not kneeling anymore. So let me go on ahead and do me. So that's the point I was trying to make in the last video. You know, it's not so much that, that he didn't have the right to like sign off on it or, you know, get his money. I'm not saying that. But sometimes when you settle, these are the, some of the things that can happen. Because if you're not going to keep fighting, what is everybody else fighting for? You got your check, you got your payoff, and that's how Jay-Z's looking at it, like, well, damn, you're not kneeling, you're not fighting, so shit, let me go ahead and get this money. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, Jay-Z's about his money, he's a businessman, literally, and Kaepernick, to me, is just way too silent. You know, um, since this whole thing has happened a few years ago, and y'all know I supported Cap. You know, I wasn't just making videos, I was buying his t-shirts, I was promoting his stuff, go on his website, support his merchandise, I bought his merchandise for the boys. So I was supporting, I was putting my money where my mouth was, supporting his cause, but 
you know, as the year has gone on, like, I don't really see him speaking out like that. I mean, he has a lot of endorsement deals behind this. He's made his money, but he's not, like, really the voice. He lets other people, like, you know, Sean um, King be his voice and stuff like that. But he's not really out here preaching about injustice or solutions and things like that. So I think with this whole situation, the ball was just dropped. And it was dropped by a lot of people involved in the thick of the matter. And at this point, Jay-Z does not care. He's going to get his money. He's going to get his bag. And the NFL wants to fix their reputation with people of color. So what better way than to hook up one of the biggest celebrity icons out there? All right, so you guys just saw those flashbacks. So like I said, I initially supported him, okay? I actually supported his website. I bought his merchandise. I got shirts for the boys. So I had no issues with him at first until I started seeing the moves that he was making. And to me, it was not about him wanting to play football. It was about him wanting attention. If you guys don't remember, um, the Baltimore Ravens were planning on signing him. And then what happened? His girlfriend, a.k.a. his handler, Ness Nitty, she put up a meme on her Instagram basically making fun of the commissioner and comparing them to that scene in Django where the master was getting ready to die and Samuel L. Jackson was crying. You know, so it's like if you know that your man really wants to play and this is where his heart is at, why would you even engage in anything? Why would you even involve yourself? Why would you even, you know, create any type of drama for him? And it just seems like it's been one thing after another after another with the both of them. You know, like I said in my previous video, Colin has not, you know, spoken to the media. He hasn't set out any type of plan. He hasn't really talked about anything since this whole fiasco blew up. But it's funny that the day that he's meant to practice and try and get his job back, now all of a sudden he wants the media there. But any other time he's not talking to the media. Usually Ness Nitty and Eric from the Carolina Panthers, they've usually been his voice or even sometimes Sean King. But now all of a sudden he wants to invite the media. I I feel like he did all of this for show. This man, in my heart of hearts, I really feel like he does not want to play in the NFL. If the NFL is so horrible and so racist, because that's what y'all keep saying, they owe him a chance. You know, he needs to be able to play. But my thing is, he sued them for racial discrimination. If this is such a horrible company, if this is such a horrible place, why do you want to go back and go play for somebody who treated you bad? Like somebody said in my comment section, it's like an abused woman who does not want to leave the guy who's abusing her. Like she's so worried about what he's up to and what he's doing as opposed to getting the hell up out of Dodge. Like his moves just make no sense. You know, like I said, football is a serious thing. These men are putting their bodies through wear and tear, possible CTE and brain damage. Why put your body through that for an organization that you deem racist? Why even want to try out for them? This man has made millions in settlement money. He's made millions in endorsements from Nike. Let's not act like this is just some broke Joe Schmo trying to, you know, obtain a job. The NFL doesn't owe him anything. They've let him go. He could have been moved on. And people who are saying, well, his heart is in football and he wants to be a football player. He wants to do what's in his heart. There's other ways for him to, you know, basically show love for the game without playing for the NFL. He could start his own training camp for kids and play football with the kids. He could join an adult league if he really just wants to be involved in the game of football. Why does he need to play in the NFL if it's such a bad place and if he keeps pulling these stunts? And I think, honestly, this stunt is going to be the final straw for most people, especially people who initially supported Colin. This is going to be the final straw for a lot of people. Of course, the fake woke crew will support him no matter what foolishness he does. They'll come out with any excuse to support his behavior. They'll make any excuses for his antics and that's fine because they drug me in every video I did about Jay-Z and Colin Kaepernick and I didn't give a damn because like I said that was my opinion and I'm not shocked in the least that he pulled this stunt I just wanted to sit back and sip tea and when everything came out I was like you know what I knew it and I'm glad I didn't say anything I'm glad I wasn't out here making videos talking about oh the NFL is going to let Colin in he's about to go play for the NFL again I sent a lot of really excited folks on social media and it's like why not wait to see how everything plays out because Colin is so unpredictable like he really is so it's like I, I just I didn't take any stock in it I just wanted to fall back and watch how everything played out and once again he played people he wanted attention he wanted to see his name trending again and people who are co-signing this I just think it's just foolish more on our breaking news involving Colin Kaepernick after being off the field for nearly three years the 32 year old free agent quarterback practiced in front of representatives from several NFL teams in Atlanta today but the workout was abruptly moved to a high school football stadium south of the city at almost the last minute. It was supposed to be held at the Atlanta Falcons training facility in a northern suburb, but the location was switched. We're told so media could be present, so the process could be more transparent. 
Kaepernick's football career took a hard turn after he began kneeling during the national anthem to protest social and racial injustice. And that sparked arguably the biggest social justice movement in sports, a powerful Nike campaign, an NFL settlement, and even tweets from President Trump. CNN's Andy Schultz joins us now. Andy, you guys had a busy day. Tell us more about this decision to move the practice and what came of it. It certainly was a wild day uh, on and it wasn't the plan, but Colin Kaepernick finally did take the field here at this high school stadium south of Atlanta. And what he hopes uh, is the next step of getting back into the NFL. Uh, once he was on the field, he did some stretching. He then threw uh, many passes to the receivers that he brought with him uh, here to this stadium, did some short passes, some deep passes. And then after the workout was over, Kaepernick walked down the field and went and greeted and signed autographs for the hundreds of fans that just showed up to this stadium once it became public. Now, Kaepernick, didn't, Kaepernick did not speak with the media and take questions, but he did give us a statement. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. We all know why I came out here, showed it today in front of everybody. We have nothing to hide. So we're waiting for the 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop running from the truth. Stop running from the people. We're out here. We're ready to play. We're ready to go anywhere. My agent, Jeff Malley, is ready to talk to any team, I'll interview with any team at any time. I've been ready, I'm staying ready, and I'll continue to be ready. Now, as I said a moment ago, this stadium was not the plan today. The plan was to have this workout at the Atlanta Falcons practice facility. The NFL was going to hold the workout. It was going to be a closed session. The media was not going to be allowed. Now, the media Myself and others were outside the Falcons practice facility waiting uh, for Kaepernick to arrive. I watched many team personnel, scouts arrive at the facility. Other people were there waiting for this workout to start. And then about 45 minutes right before it was to begin, Kaepernick's representatives announced it was off. And one of the reasons they announced it was off was because the NFL wanted Kaepernick to sign a liability waiver that included some employment terms. Now, I caught up with Kaepernick's agent here at the field, Jeff Nally, and asked him what went wrong today. Colin worked out yesterday here at a university. They asked for an injury waiver as well. Uh, so Colin and the, on the four receivers that were here, they all signed it, no problem. Uh, we allowed them to sign it. We sent that form to the NFL League office, and they denied it. The one that they sent over was five or six pages, and his lawyers had problems with it. What was the biggest problem with it? I'll let the lawyers talk about that, but there were, they wanted him to waive his right to certain claims and issues. And, and again, the, the purpose for a waiver like that is to protect them if he gets hurt or these receivers get hurt. And that's not what that waiver was. Yeah, Nally also telling me that uh, in the end, he feels that the NFL putting on this unprecedented workout for Kaepernick was in just a PR stunt. Now, the NFL did release a very lengthy statement saying they were disappointed that Kaepernick and his representatives decided to uh, move and leave uh, their scheduled workout to this stadium here. And they did say that they sent Kaepernick uh, just a standard waiver. Now, Anna, uh, when we were at the Falcons practice facility waiting for the workout to begin, I saw at least 20 scouts uh, enter that facility to watch that workout. Once we got to the stadium here, uh, only eight scouts came to this workout. Will one of those eight scouts end up signing Kyle Kaepernick? We'll have to wait and see. And people who are co-signing this, I think it's foolish to co-sign his behavior. I mean, at the end of the day, he wasted people's time. He wasted money and everything else. You know, if he didn't want to do it, then why even keep bothering the NFL? Just go your separate ways. Go enjoy your quote-unquote slave money and go live your life. So at this point in time, I feel like this. The original workout location should have never been announced. Nothing should have ever been, you know, put out there in the media just for the fact that I knew something like this would happen. In my personal opinion, Colin Kaepernick is more concerned with theatrics than he is football. And I see through the BS and I can't support that, okay? This man is literally seeking attention, validation, in any way he can get it. How do you decide literally an hour and a half 
before you're supposed to go down to the Atlanta Stadium to go practice with over 25 to 28 teams who came to support you and bend over backwards to, you know, basically, you know, do anything that you were asking of them. How do you then change it that quickly and not care about wasting anybody's time or inconveniencing people? So to me, that's classic narcissistic behavior. That's the vibe I'm getting from Colin at this point. He's more worried about his cult following and, you know, putting on a show for them than actually putting on a show on the football field in front of the people that actually matter. Okay, it's going to be Roger Goodall and all those other people who could possibly give you a job, not the damn fake woke crew of social media. So I think Colin Kaepernick definitely has it twisted and I'm just, I'm not feeling his antics. I said what I said prior and I'm glad that everything I'm saying is coming to pass and more and more people are waking up to his foolishness. You know, at this point in time, the dude is annoying, his girlfriend is annoying, this whole situation is annoying and I'm basically over it, okay? So anyways, I'm sure a lot of y'all will cuss me out and call me a coon and a bed winch. That's fine, honey. I'm here for it all, okay? Y'all call me what y'all want to call me. One thing you can't call me is wrong. I've been calling him out, and everything I've been saying over the past few months have now come to pass. Colin Kaepernick, he's an agent of chaos. Initially, I supported his cause, but the more and more I watch his moves, I can't stand behind that fuckery. Y'all can if y'all choose to. I'm not going to do it. It is what it is. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces. Deuces.